every now and then you'll hear it argued that fewer of us are volunteering our time uh, for community projects, community work and so on. And uh, with that in mind, some six years ago, an imaginative project was set up to encourage social awareness and what is called activism amongst young people. Now last year, some 6,000 uh, young people, students at about oh, more than 200 uh, schools and uh, uh, social clubs took part in all of this work. And next week at the ODS, some of their work, some of their projects will be exhibited in the Young Social Innovators Showcase. Two teenagers are interviewing on camera a man in his 80s about his life and times in Galway City. As part of a most unusual school project, they will later edit this along with other interviews with older people in Galway and will transfer them to a website where they may be accessed by all and even downloaded to iPods and mobile phones. Now, are we all happy with the colour red for these letters? Yes. Yeah. 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 This praiseworthy project was created by transition year students at Presentation Secondary School in Galway. Here the class, led by one of their own, is planning and preparing the presentation of their project in next week's Young Social Innovators Showcase in Dublin's RDS. Observing them is their guide and teacher, Seamus McGuinness. What the students decided to do was to carry out recordings of members of the Active Retirement Associations here in Galway and to design a website where general members of the public uh, can view these stories. The nature of Ireland is changing so much because we wanted to make sure that, uh, that we didn't leave behind the people who founded this, this city, basically to let their voices be heard uh, so that they're not forgotten. You know, they, they have great oh, stories <laughs> of employment, of growing up in Galway, of um, romance, and uh, tell me, what, what jobs did you have? I ran a, a pilot radio station, a very good one. And uh, most of the DJs, including the, the head man up there, he started, they all started on this radio station that they're up here on the Squadby Bay FM. They all started on there with me. Some of the girls in the class thought up of the questions and they were typed out. And then from that, I'd pick out what I thought was most relevant to the person I was interviewing. So, so you all had different jobs on this? Yeah. What kinds of jobs did people have? Well, some girls were in charge of camera, then some people would be in charge of kind of contact, like ringing the elderly people, letting them know, booking appointments when we'd be coming and stuff like that. I interviewed Kathleen Flaherty. And is there anything that stands out in your mind about what she said to you? When she was growing up, where our cinema is now built, it used to be like the countryside, and that was actually very hard to believe. The students regularly make the short trip by foot from Presentation Secondary School to Galway University for tuition in the skills needed for the project and for the editing of their video interviews. Their project relies heavily on the assistance of the Digital Enterprise Research Institute at the university. I look on this as, as a tremendous heritage resource to be used by future generations. And it's the way libraries and museums are actually going. It's living history using modern technology. And to me, it's an exceptional good form of an intergeneration project where we're using the skills uh, of the younger generation um, to get the knowledge from the older generation. And a project like this is, is quite interesting. It's, it's heritage, it's intergenerational, it's highly educational, it's technology orientated. It has all those elements combined to one project. And except for this project, all of that um, inf uh, stories, those interesting stories, would have been lost to the wider people of Galway and to the, to the people of Ireland. Especially for the girls meeting older people like me, they might learn a bit of experience what happened in the past in the old days, like, you know, and might learn a few things from that, then they might not, but I hope to do. I hope I, I was a bit of a help to the money, but I hope, to, I hope, to, I hope so, but I'm too sure of that. But they were laughing anyway, that's <laughs> amazing. It's been really interesting to find out what the old people have to say about Galway. It's so different from what, like what we've learned from them. It's changed a lot over the years and everything that we do compared to what they did is way different. Um, like we all have grandparents we speak to on a regular basis, but we never actually, I've never taken time out to talk to them about what life was like for them growing up. And just like it's really interesting stuff.
the Presentation Secondary School in Galway has a nine-year-old tradition of involving older adults in school activities. The Young Social Innovators Project therefore came naturally as an idea. It will now surely augment and enhance the school's special tradition. This project will continue on till next year as well as an integral part of next year's Transition Year programme. So it is an ongoing, it is an ongoing project which is both exciting, both new and um, we hope very interesting for people. Bright young people doing their bit for their local communities.